Hello, everyone, and welcome to Holy Marriage Blessing, the podcast ministry of True Parents Way. And I'm your host, Tyler Hendricks, welcoming you to this new week. Our topic this week is World Peace for Dummies. And I want to begin with uh, just a reference to the corruption of clergy that is being uh, revealed. Uh, You know, that is a long-term problem, of course, 6,000-year-old problem. But that's fine. That is coming out in terms of the uh, Catholic Church, uh, and we're all, I'm sure, aware of that. But it's not just the Catholic Church. Every church has sexual immorality within its corridors, within its back rooms, its offices, and the pews. Our society is. Uh, changing overnight. And when the shepherd, the religious leaders, uh, the paragons of morality, or the political leaders, are immoral, the sheep wander, and the wolves attack. And so sexual immorality and family breakdown are destroying all societies. All religions have failed in this respect. They themselves cannot control sexual corruption. What does this have to do with world peace? We'll talk about that. But religions, the again, the guardians of, of goodness, if you will, the ones who are preaching the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not covet your neighbor's belongings, your neighbor's wife, cannot uh, uphold that standard. So we need a new dispensation of God's grace. We're not judging anyone. We, uh, the, the judgment begins with each person in their own cells. But we need, need a new dispensation of God's grace because all have fallen short of the glory of God. And God is providing that through the holy marriage blessing. Now, here are the foundational affirmations of the blessing. Absolute fidelity in marriage, sexual abstinence before marriage, and world peace comes through ideal families of all races, nations, and religions. That's it. The two ethical standards are espoused by all religions, all races, all nations. So all religions, races, and nations can unite around them. You know, the vertical standard that is upheld by all religions, races, and nations can establish or can be the what central point, the common base to establish unity among all races, nations, and religions. The universal ceremony and celebration of these ideals is the true parents' holy marriage blessing. It can be the root of cultural change, the restoration of true family values, owned and articulated by all religions, races, and nations. That's how world peace will come. That's world peace for dummies. You're listening to Holy Marriage Blessing, the podcast ministry of True Parents Way. We'll be right back. And I'm your host, Tyler Hendricks. Once again, world peace for dummies is our topic. The world is experiencing many positive trends insofar as I read and and as I've experienced in my life. Probably those of you who are listening like me, have enjoyed a, uh, a pleasant kind of life compared to historical experience of human beings. Food production is, is uh, going well. You know, the gas prices are low. Uh, global standard of living is generally rising everywhere in the world. 
There's general security. There, I mean, there are, of course, deeply troubled areas, but overall, general security is what we enjoy, ease of travel and communication. But here's what I want to say. It's a global bubble that's going to pop. Every, you know, every economic cycle has a, uh, you know, has uh, the tradition of bubbles. Bubbles means, you know, things are getting better and better and better. We're making more and more money, more peaceful. Everything's greater and greater and greater. And then suddenly, boom, everything crashes. Uh, and that's the way it goes with civilizations. Uh, history proves that civilization depends on sexual integrity. And that without it, civilization collapses. It collapses from within. You know, externally, everything's going fine. And people tend to think that oh, civilizational pro uh, progress is based on external things, you know, and, but it's not based on external things. It's based on internal things. It's based on, ultimately, sexual integrity. Uh, human love, true love, true love and, and, and discipline and commitment and investment, uh, living for the sake of others. When people do that, civilizations progress. They figure out how to go forward. They solve the problems. They build the buildings. They invent the inventions, etc. And with God's support, of course, God's grace. And, uh, and things get better and better. And then people get sort of born after a generation or two. People are born into this. And they think, oh, everything's great. Just, oh, there's all these great buildings. There's helicopters. There's airplanes. There's rockets. There's computers. Uh, it just sort of all happened. And, and it's because there's these rockets and computers and buildings and air conditioning. That's why everything's so great. No, it's because of the moral foundation, the internal foundation. When that internal foundation disappears, you can have as many buildings as you like and airplanes and computers, and it's all going to crash. And in our generation, I'm talking about my generation from the baby boom, you know, coming of age in the 1960s, which, you know, and there were seeds, of course, all the way back to the 20s, 1920s, 1930s, etc., but, uh, but, and, but, and those seeds are all bearing fruit now. That, and Father could see it 30, 40 years ago. And we, we didn't realize how true Father's words were when he said, the direction that America is going, it's going to fall apart. It's going to collapse. In our generation overnight, sexual integrity is disappearing. And, and the civilization is going to collapse. And history shows that. Sexual integrity. So let's talk about sexual integrity. It consists of two ethical standards, absolute fidelity in marriage and sexual abstinence before marriage, practiced on the basis not of law, but of heart. You can't force people to love. You, know, you can't legislate morality. Absolute fidelity in marriage out of heart. Sexual abstinence before marriage out of heart. Those are the ethical standards. Uh, the practice of absolute fidelity in marriage and sexual abstinence before marriage creates ideal families, families of true love, families, you know, couples of absolute sex, of loving parents and devoted children, no generation gap, of pure brothers and sisters, people who can trust each other, people who can enter into commitments and carry out those commitments, people whose words and deeds are united. That's where prosperity comes from. That's where progress comes from, the external. It's the internal. This is the root of positive, constructive, lasting, and joyful culture, culture and cultural change. The perfection of true family life the shared ideal of all religions, races, and nations. Now, such ideal families of all races, nations, and religions, because this is universal. You can be a, a faithful Hindu couple, Buddhist couple, Christian couple, and I'm talking about monogamous couples, all races, nations, and religions, and there is a way to monogamy for the Islamic world that true mother is, is, uh, is inventing, has created, and that is that we can bless faithful, you know, we can bless 
Muslim families who have more with more than one wife, you know, based on these ideals of fidel absolute fidelity and sexual absence before marriage, and world how world peace comes through the principle, on the condition that they they don't have to break up their arrangements. It's that would be tragic. That would be cruel, but that their children will commit to monogamous marriage. And this is happening. As modernization comes into Africa, comes into Asia, the Middle East, the trend is toward, I'm told, the trend is toward monogamous, monogamy in Islamic cultures as well. So um, we're talking about that. And that um, ideal families of all races, nations, and religions are the way to world peace. In fact, the only way to world peace this is because these two ethical standards are espoused by all religions, races, and nations. So all religions, races, and nations can unite around them. It's the common base. It's the vertical, it's the vertical common base with God. It's the commandment given to Adam and Eve. And it's a horizontal common base uh, among all peoples of the world. Now, if it's that simple, why has the human race not accomplished it? We'll be back. World Peace for Dummies. And you're listening to Holy Marriage Blessing, the podcast ministry of True Parents Way. I'm Tyler Hendricks. So why has the human race not accomplished unity? Unity based on absolute fidelity in marriage, which every couple pledges to when they start their marriage, and sexual abstinence, sexual purity before marriage, which every couple, every all parents want for their children. Why not? It is because we have never established sexual integrity. Within each person is a seed of sexual corruption, selfish love, good and evil fight within us. Now, unificationists who are listening to this know that this came from the fall. Uh, those who are not aware or familiar with divine principle, this is something new. But the, the seed of, of, the, of, of, of the conflict within every person, the mind and body disunity, is sexual corruption, selfish love. That's why good and evil fight within us. And when good and evil fight within us, then we fight with each other. Each of us, where did it come from? Each of us inherited it from our parents through their sexual relationship at our conception. Mom and dad each had good and evil struggling inside of them, and so their sexual relationship was not ideal, was not perfect harmony. God was not, could not completely own it. So at our conception, something was wrong in our very makeup, in the root of our own identity, our own motivations, our own, you know, self. So our parents... We got it from our parents. Our parents inherited it from their parents. It goes back to the fall of the first man and woman. And their fall was exactly the same thing, having sex before marriage, which led to uh, a, a corrupt marriage, a, a struggle in their marriage based on selfishness. Actually, this was the commandment. Do not eat the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil forbade, and they knew it. This is what it forbade, and they knew it, but they did not obey it. God meant them to eat the fruit, of course, eventually, but only with his blessing on the foundation of their maturation, their fulfilling their responsibility. Their selfish sexual love resulted in conflict with God, conflict with each other, infidelity, you know, which is I mean, they couldn't be unfaithful, I guess, because there's nobody to be unfaithful with. But they had conflict with each other. They were not completely united with each other, Adam and Eve, which led to murder among their children. So until a married couple becomes absolutely unselfish, one within themselves as individuals, one with God and one with each other, war will continue. This absolute oneness is what Sun Myung Moon and Hak Jahan Moon, in the name of God and all humankind, have accomplished. Therefore, in God's eyes, they are the first real parents, 
the true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind. And you're listening to Holy Marriage Blessing, the podcast ministry of True Parents Way. We'll be right back. So, welcome back. What happens now? Reverend and Mrs. Sun Myung Moon and Dr. Han Moon have accomplished this liberation, this perfection of sexual integrity. Now what? By the power of love, through the Holy Marriage Blessing, true parents create children who can become true parents. Again, long story short, world peace for dummies. When we get true parents, we're going to get true children. When we get true parents, the motivation of all parents is to have their children grow up and be happy, which means, and to get married and to have, you know, their own grandchildren. That's the desire. That's the ideal. True parents create true parents. So by receiving the blessing, all humankind can become those children. Father and Mother Moon want us to become their, their children engraft into their lineage. We, we inherit their goodness, their grace, their spirit, their uh, protection, their foundation through engrafting, engrafting into their lineage. And that engrafting, that's what the Holy Marriage Blessing is about. We gain God's grace through the Holy Marriage Blessing, which together with our effort, because <laughs> You know, it doesn't come like a free gift package, you know, plug and play. You've got to make effort, a thousand, hundred thousand percent effort. Together with our effort and God's grace, it enables us to be absolutely faithful to each other and to guide our children to be sexually abstinent until until marriage. Within three generations, in my humble opinion, abetted by educational cultural, religious, and governmental reforms, sexual abstinence before marriage, and absolute fidelity in marriage can become, will become, the new normal. On that foundation, world peace will come. And so, bottom line, 95 Theses, Proclamation, we call all religions, all political parties, all local and national governments, educational, media, and cultural institutions, businesses, and humanitarian organizations to stand up for absolute fidelity in marriage and sexual abstinence before marriage. This is the key to world peace. You're listening to Holy Marriage Blessing, the podcast ministry of True Parents Way. Now, here's the the cool thing, actually, that true mother, the Reverend, not Reverend, Dr. Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, call her Reverend too, call her uh, our true mother, uh, is actually doing it. She is creating structures that can house, that can serve as the environment for a world in which the culture of sexual integrity, of true love, of absolute fidelity between husbands and wives, and sexual purity, sexual abstinence, until marriage. That culture can be housed, the environment that will perpetuate this culture, that will that will will be such an environment that our children will not know of anything else, no other options. And each person will have a have the true road to individual maturity. They will not be fighting against evil in order to become quote unquote perfect. They'll be fighting to overcome immaturity. That's the true battle, making the decision for God to live for the sake of others. There is a battle, there is a fight, there is a struggle for every human being to become perfect. But it's not the struggle with evil. God did not mean for moral evil to be 
to constitute that struggle. It's the struggle to perfect myself, to become who I truly, really am, to meet God in myself. And every person will have that that same path, that same struggle, if you will, uh, to, because each person is unique. So we're all going to express God in a different way. So we're going to create then a true mother. Hawks, Dr. Hawk John Moon is creating the environment, beginning with the International Associations of Parliamentarians for Peace, a cross-national, which means cross-religious, cross-racial organization of parliament of the people's elected representatives. Actually, it's the true United Nations. The IAPP is the real United Nations. It's the real body of the world's population's representatives you know, working together, centered on the ideals of the Holy Marriage Blessing. IAPP, governmental framework and structure. The IAPD, the Interreligious Association for Peace and Development, is the, is the cross-religious platform of all religious leaders, all religions united together with the same goals, with the same ideals as the political government leaders and cultural leaders, movie makers, music makers, novel writers, podcast projectors are going to be giving the same message. We say, oh, that's going to be very boring and dull. No, actually, it's going to be a flowering of civilization, beauty, a variety, a creativity that, that we can't even imagine. True love. You know, married couple, oh, marriage is very boring and dull. But actually, social science shows that married couples have a lot better sex than unmarried singles. You know, you think, oh, these singles are going on flings, playboys, and all that. Actually, it's crummy. Their relationships are crummy. But married couples' relationships are fantastic, and they'll get better and better and better in a world of absolute sex. IAPD, IAPP, the Tribal Chiefs Association for the Blessing, for World Peace. Tribes in Africa, South America, villages, local communities gathering together, and young people, 100,000, I've heard, are being uh, uh, gathered together that there was a, a leader in, uh, in, it was Thailand, and that you probably have seen photos of the uh, stadium where there were, you know, the, there were, I don't know, 10 or 15,000 young people, but the stadium wasn't full uh, because it's a much bigger stadium. And these, these, guys, these kids, young people, were mobilized from high schools and uh, by their principals, by their teachers, by the local educational, you know, the PTAs, etc. And they completely committed to this. And the, uh, a local official came and said, well, why isn't the stadium full? And I said, well, did we just mobilize this many? He said, you know, we've got to fill up the stadium. We've got we to gotta organize more, mobilize more. Okay, so uh, IAPD, the, the, oh, Peace Road, envisioning a world of a zone of freedom, the peace that activists are calling for an international peace highway, the peace road, connecting all nations and continents into one zone of freedom. And to solve the world's environmental and food security issues for the sake of future generations. Dr. Moon is also, as we know, very concerned about climate issues, about environmental issues. You know, climate is just one subspecies of, of the environment, creating a park-like world, right? A garden. A world is a garden. And when we have our spiritual ducks in a row, when we have our spiritual life, heaven and earth, connected with angels, you know, the angelic world and the human world are completely clear, completely pure, completely invested with God's love and creativity, we'll have a beautiful environment. And that's the H.J. Magnolia Foundation. And you're listening to Holy Marriage Blessing, podcast ministry of True Parents Way. We have one more section. We'll be back in just a minute. Now, welcome back. What are the action steps? What are the action steps for us in our local communities? For me and my local community, you know, God willing and my own effort willing. Simple, okay? That the president's couple 
of the country, the president or prime minister, the, the chief leader, the CEO of the nation, king and queen, if you've got that kind of nation, as a couple will officiate, publicly officiate the Holy Mary's blessing. That's number one. Officiate the Holy Mary's blessing as a, as a, as a public national level ceremony. Yes. Number two, celebrate True Parents' birthday as a national holiday. We have Parents' Day as a national holiday. That's wonderful, magnificent. That was 20 years ago. Now what? True Parents? Because Parents' Day is just, is parents in general. We're all, but there's no real clear path from Parents' Day to our True Parents, Father and Mother Moon called by Jesus and led by the Holy Spirit. It's true parents' birthday, exactly our true parents, celebrated as a national holiday. That's number two. That's it. A nation that accomplishes those two things, whether it be the president of, of Samoa or Palau uh, or the Philippines or Nepal or Thailand or Cambodia or, why not, the United States, or why not North Carolina, where I live, the governor's couple, and declares it a, a holiday, true parents' birthday, to, officiates the blessing. That's a Chanelguk nation by Foundation Day of 2020, 15 months, something like that from now. Okay, then what will happen after that? Education, the public school curriculum. Uh, the Dr. Robert Kittle created with a little help from his friends, four family loves, a simple curriculum that can be adapted to different cultures, different languages, different settings for elementary school, middle school, high school, and university to teach the same thing. How to prepare to be faithful in marriage, how to be sexual abstinent before marriage. I want to give a shout out to uh, High Noon, highnoon.org, a, a global organization now just a few members, David Wolfenberger and Michie, uh, uh, Mitsue, Mits, Mitsue Wolfenberger in Seattle, Sammy and Igu Uyama, John Williams, uh, Andrew Love and his wife, who's Mongolian, so I don't know her name, I can't pronounce her name, just had a baby, congratulations, Andrew. These four or five couples, and with a little help from, uh, from their friends, um, or creating a worldwide movement because it's an issue. Pornography is an issue. Masturbation is an issue for our young people, for the second gen, for the whole world's young people. You know, it's you, you buy a, a young a, a child, your 10-year-old, a cell phone, you're putting a, an X-rated movie theater in their pocket. So that's another subject. We'll talk about that another time. But I want to shout, but we can make a difference. Okay, so... That's the next step. What is the rollout from the blessing and the true parents' birthday is education, education reform. Father once said, we won't need churches uh, in, the, in the ideal world. Why? Because kids will learn it in their schools, in the schools. Teach how to love, how to be true citizens of Tanaguk, how to live for the sake of others, sacrificially live for the sake of others. Okay, education, reform, with which will come, of course, re reformation of culture, why? Because people know it's right and because it makes common sense, because we have God's grace. The movies, the novels, the books, everything will change. The atmosphere will change. And then finally, the Constitution will change. So the government will stand up and say, you know, we've got a great Constitution, wonderful, it's beautiful, they're all constant, but we need a Constitution of heart that's based on God's heart. And it's not going to have all these laws it's not going to have all these details because based on heart, we can trust each other. We can work together. We don't need a lot of laws. We need a lot of love. <laughs> so that's the China Good Constitution. True parents' constitution. Father's constitution. Mother's constitution. The constitution of parents. Every world deserves a father and a mother. Every nation deserves a father and a mother. So, so parliamentarians will step by step in a procedural, systematic, uh, you know, public, transparent way, step by step, move from their constitution into the language and the heart of the Chanago constitution. And the, we'll have a one world, one world constitution centered on God's heart. 
That's centered on the principle, centered on God's word. And what is the center of God's word? It's what he gave to Adam and Eve. Don't eat the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Sexual absence before marriage, absolute fidelity in marriage. That's it. World peace for dummies. And thank you for listening. This is Holy Mary's Blessing, the podcast ministry of True Parents Way. I'm Tyler Hendricks. Our music is by Ronan Hardiman. And we had a little bit of the Beatles in there. And Hillsong International. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you'll be back, back with us next week. In the meantime, love God. Share the blessing. Don't give up.